Wow, that is incredible. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that result. Alrighty guys, so we're back and today we're going to be doing a bit of bear shaft tuning because in the last video, <coughs> you seen that I was uh, using the Sim Shooter 6000 and I seen my bear shaft was off. So I thought um, I'm going to use the bear shaft to try and get me center shot in today. So let's get into that. I've got it all set up. Arrows are laying everywhere. I think we're all good to go. I'm just going to have to. So the first thing we need to do with the bear shaft to get everything started is to get your sights in. Then once the sights are in, you don't even really need your sights in, you just need, really need to shoot a group, but I'm just going to shoot at 10 metres. So I'm just going to get sighted in to the dead centre. And then um, shoot on from there. So what I'm doing as well, I'm just using the one target. I'm using my target camera and my camcorder is just going to be continuous footage. So it's going to be pretty much like it's live. Because there's going to be no takes, no edit and no nothing. So this is the true raw how to bear shaft tune or full going through me bear shaft tune and hopefully it's not too jumpy or hopefully the background's not doing this fingers crossed okay so let's get into it it's just a fraction that way More, I'm pretty much, I think I'm on now. Okay, so these sights are on. Let's, um, Shoot me bear shaft in there and see what happens. Now this is with the gold tip facing up, just for reference. All right, pretty much the same hole. How much, oh, how much of adjustment have I got on here? Nothing. Got hardly any adjustment on this rest. I have to put it on a new hole, maybe. If I have to do that, we're screwed. But let's get back into it. Look, the first thing that I've noticed. Look at this, it's a fraction low. I well, we won't worry about the up and downs at the moment. Let's just worry about the left and right. Well, we can see it's coming in, it's coming in hot this way. So that means we need to move our rest out. I'll move our rest in actually. God, I've had a brain snap. Well, write in the comments below, which way should I move me rest, left or right? I'll have to get the empty tune out and have a look, but well, um... <sighs> so what is it? Let's keep the same arrows too. We'll keep tuning with the same arrows. Give me all the other ones in the snap pocket. <sighs> Keep these three in the front. Okay, so I have to think I have to move the rest. So it would be, it'd be a big left tear, wouldn't it? Something like that, big left tear, which means we have to move the, uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's get the aptitude out. This is what the aptitude app's good for. Whenever you have these moments where you're just like, God, I cannot remember what's going on. We can get the aptitude out app. 
Oh, there's a Lancaster thing. App to tune app. Compound target. Basic tuning. Just fixing it like it's a left tear. So a left tear, move the rest in, I thought so. So we need to move the rest in towards the riser. Let's do that. Where's me? Allen keys. So what I'm doing, just loosening off the thing. Where's me box Allen keys? So much easier with these ones. Okay, loosen that off. Let's try that, that's a fair way. That's probably like a millimetre. I moved it a millimetre back in. Let's reshoot these three arrows and see what happens now. Shoot the bear shaft last. Right in the center. That one went off a little bit. Right, let's see what happens with the bear shaft. Oh, that's looking heaps better. Let's have a look at this. Oh, in dead straight now. Oh, gee, I jagged it. Oh, that one, I thought it went in funny, but it's just getting pushed out by the veins. That's grooving pretty good, hang on, it could be a fraction in more. Let's shoot it again, make sure we get consistent results. That's looking pretty good. You know what, let's move back to 20 now. Let's move back to 20 metres, let's see if we get the same thing, or just 15. Probably at 15 metres now. <clears throat> the further you go back, the more dramatic the bear shaft is. So like if you're, if you're out a centimetre at 10 metres, you go back to 60, you're probably out by three targets. Allen keys, all ready to go.
Looks like that's going major left now. Well, they're grouping together. I don't know if it's working on the center shot. The thing with all these bare shaft tunings and crazy stuff, one thing changes the other thing. Look now, I think the center shot's way out. I'm going to use do a walk back, I think. That's what I think needs to be done. Um, I had a rope around here, I'm just looking for new rope. Alright, I'm setting up a walk back, let's do a walk back. Alright, got me a bit of string set up. Let's do a walk back and see what happens. Crazy, it was that far left. Far right, sorry, that far right. All right. I was going to paper tune it too, but I thought I forgot my paper tuner. Okay, that's pretty much in the centre, a bit low. Let's go back to 20 metres and shoot another one and see what happens. I didn't aim at the rope. <laughs> All right, let's go see what that did. Oh, it's way off. Sorry, it's way off. Check that out. Maybe I moved it the wrong way. All right, up to tune up out again. Holy moly. So that's a big out for um, 10 metres difference. You 
Okay, so what the app you chewing up say? Where is it? If the arrow hits further to the left, the farther you shoot, you need to move it in. If the arrow hits further to the right, the farther you go back, you need to adjust the rest out. So I was right where it was. Ay, 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 ay. That's what bear shaft tuning is a tough one. Just screwed me up then big time. Okay, so we need to move the rest back out. See how that goes. All right, so let's move the rest back out a little bit. Alright, that's back to where it was. Let's try that. Okay, back to three meters. I'm not adjusting my sights, so I know it can't be third axis or second axis. Okay, this time I'll aim for the rope. Well, that's right on it. Let's go back to 20 now. Yeah, it's about 20. I don't know where that went. I can't imagine me center shot being that far out. Because I would have done this the last time I had the rest on. Oh, I think it's perfect. So we're back on now. Oh yeah, look at this. Check this out. Okay, so here's my first one touching the rope. Second one back at 20 meters is right on. Okay, so the means that means we center shot's good, everything's good. So the bear shaft's just been a nutcase. So you know what we can do now then is knock tune this bear shaft. So we know the center shot's good now. 
Let's just stay here at 10 metres and rotate this bear shaft knock until we get it um, So we get it hidden in the center, how about that one? Let's try it a quarter turn. Still shooting with major tail to the left. I'll maybe bring it in a little bit, but still majorly pointing out like this. All right, let's shoot it again. Try to knock tune it a little bit more, turn it a little bit more. See if we can get any any different results. So that's what we're looking for, just something different. Okay, yeah, so this is the full turn now. So this is uh, pointing pointing down compared to pointing up where it started. Looks like it went in straight. Well, check that out, it's going in straight now. Let's shoot that again, see if it happens again twice. It is, it's going in straight now, you're kidding me. That really does show you how much spinal line makes a big difference. Wow, that is incredible. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that result. Insane. Let's go, it's two times in a row, three times. We'll confirm it. But look at that, that bear shaft's going dead straight in now. And keeps going the same way last time that was pointing up too. So it's curving in the same way as well, spinning in the same way. Wow, one more time. That means you're going to have to de-vein them all and knock tune them all like this. This is what Gillingham says to do this actually. Shoot them all bear shaft. Get the perfect knock position. That one went in sideways, but it felt like a bit of a dodgy shot actually.
So how's that? So before you even start bear shafting, you need to get your bear shaft tuned. Oh, but look. It's only, it was a bad shot, but it's only just out compared to what it was before. It was like that before, way out. So not tuning, wow. So maybe that's why I was getting those bad groups. Because those three, because um, did you see with the hooter shooter, with the sim shooter, three arrows were going in the X and three were going doof doof doof. Maybe those three weren't knock tuned. Let's shoot it one more time. One more, a thousand times more. I'm just uh, tuning me bow in, trying to get me bow shooting really good. Then I'll move, once it's getting good, once it's perfect, I'll move back to the long distance. Look at your red hands, have you been picking mulberries? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well that's straight in, dead set another one straight in. That is so interesting. I wish I had me paper tune here. I'd paper tune all my arrows because it doesn't matter about me, me cock vein. Because I'm using the drop wire, I can have the cock vein pointing anyway, so I can really. Oh God, wouldn't that be good? Like knock tune and each arrow perfect, so they're just creaming in like this. Because how good's that? And look, look, that's pointing up again. Every time I've shot it, the ultralight's pointing up. Wow. That's insane. How can I knock tune me other ones with fletchers on them? Oh, I wish I had a paper tuner machine. Wish I had a paper tuner machine. Maybe I'll have to bring it out tomorrow. But now, we, I suppose now that the bear shaft's in, we can start bear shaft tuning. Micro adjusting. Let's, um, well now that that's shooting in pretty good, let's go back to 20 meters and shoot it. See if the bear shaft's still doing that good at 20 meters. It's probably, 20, 22, 20, somewhere like that. Wow, I can't get over that. Noctune and made such a difference. Just a fraction to the left. So maybe we can micro tune the knock now. Micro adjust the knock tuning. So it's pretty damn straight. Just a fraction. It's like just just out there. No, looking pretty straight actually. Let's shoot it again and have a look. Oh, that was way low. Need to move your sights down a bit.
They say it's more important to have your arrows tuned in than your bow tuned in. Maybe that's my next thing, ultra tune in the arrows. Well, that one flew off way left. Maybe it's a bad release. Just lifted the sights up, didn't I? Well, that was a way out one. That one, don't know what happened then. Look, I was aiming here, and I've hit here. The sights, I've lifted the sights up to there. But I don't know why it's hitting out here now. Let's reshoot it. Oh, look. Strange, 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 strange. Now, let's see what it does this time. Let's try and get a good clean shot off. Way out to the left again. Well, that's strange now. So my center shot's in, but the bear shaft's hitting to the left. Crazy. So maybe my um, cam leans out. Because on the after tune app says, if your center shot's in, but your bear shaft keep going left or right, it means you're, um, you've got to yoke tune it. I don't have me bow, I don't have me arm. Um, I wonder if I could dodge it. There's nowhere I can really stick the cam in. I was going to stick a nut in. I was going to stick a nail through my cam. You seen that old trick where you bring it down, you stick a nail through, and you can um, loosen off your yokes. But not going to happen. God, I wish I had me. Bow scout, new thing here. All right, so there, that's where we're up to. That's going to be today's video, I think. I'm going to have to need me um, need me bow press from here on in. So um, what I'm going to do now, next time, is I'm going to start to work that bear shaft in with me yoke tuning. See if that helps, because I know my center shot's in. I've done the walk back. I know my center shot's in, but the bear shaft's still hitting to the left. So that means I need to yoke tune it. So we'll do that. Let's just shoot. 
Let's shoot these two arrows with some veins and see how they group and see if we're getting the right height. Because if we're getting the right height, it means the cams are in. Over to the left a little bit again. All right, let's go check that out. Great shooting. It's a fraction low, so my cam timing could be out as well. All right, I'm gonna go back shoot some 50 meters now. So the next video is gonna be me shooting some 50 meters. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, hit that like button. And if you like this crazy, no editing, no stopping, no thinking, just going, let me know in the comments. If you don't like it either, let me know as well. All right, guys, I'll see you soon in the next one. Yeah.